Okay, so uh, the first thing we're going to be looking at today is a product by EXO. It's a company that's been on this channel before. I'm pretty sure it's the last review I actually did was a headset of theirs. So, yeah. Uh, the product is the, uh, they always have funny names, um, the EXO Ergonomic Gaming Mouse. It says EM600 EXO Gaming Mouse RGB. So, as you guys can see, there it is, um, all the way around. Um, so, yeah. Uh, 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 I guess it's about time I recorded another video. How's it going guys? I know it's been about eight months since I last recorded a video, but yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm making some reviews uh, for you guys uh, as of lately and hopefully you'll be looking out for those and any future projects, <coughs> future projects that I might be doing. Um, but yeah, for now it's just reviews, so uh, hopefully you enjoy. The product is the, uh, they always have funny names, um, the EXA Ergonomic Gaming Mouse. The, uh, ah, it, it doesn't say. Oh, oh, it says it on the bottom. Okay, it says EM600 EXA Gaming Mouse RGB. So, as you guys can see, there it is, um, all the way around. Um, so yeah, seems like it'll be pretty cool. Let me give it a quick unboxing. <laughs> okay. Alright, very cool. I'm gonna put that away now before someone gets hurt. I haven't done this in a while, so. And if you're wondering why I keep looking off, I have my friend over here, so I, that's that's why I'm being weird. But, um, let's see, okay. So, unboxing experience, guys. The first thing you see, oh, it's kind of disappointing. It's um, a little bit wrapped up, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. I feel like the best unboxing experience is sometimes where you can see the product first. But it's all right. There's also an instruction manual. Um, you know, we do these things on this channel, so yeah. All right, moving on to the cable. Let's start with that. Oh, it's connected to, it's not a wireless mouse. <laughs> okay, here is the mouse. It actually seems pretty dope, brother. I don't know if people say that anymore. I sound like a dad. Okay, here is the mouse, people. I should probably look at the camera more. Sorry if I haven't been like at all. There's like two camera angles to look at but yeah here's what it looks like it's got this cable on it and actually if I'm gonna be honest with like all the gaming mouses I've mice I've tried um, it's got a really nice like like one of those like glorious model o mouse cables on it it's like super light it's whatever that type of cable is I don't know if you can tell but it's like it's like very light so yeah it actually is pretty slick looking I don't know if you can see that on that camera you probably see it better on this one as far as the build quality goes um, it's probably not the best thing I've seen. Like, it seems like it's pretty, like, standard plastic, like... But overall, it looks cool. Like, this little orange flap, right? The red... Oh, that's a button! Oh, that's actually really cool. I didn't actually know that's a button there. That's, like, a really interesting spot to have a button. And then also, if you can't tell, there's two more buttons here. And then there's also a couple buttons right here. DPI up and down, I believe. And then your typical scrolling. So, yeah, I'm gonna plug it in, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. I'm already sweating. <laughs> oh, we're recording, that's great. <laughs> oh, good thing we're recording. That's my first reaction. This is actually pretty nice. Okay, you probably can't tell as well um, from that camera angle, of course. You guys can see right here though, there's actually a lot of RGB on the uh, mouse right here, which is pretty nice. I don't know how to explain it, but you can kind of tell there's individual light bulbs that they use, but um, for the most part, it's pretty cool. Like it's pretty smooth. And then there's also, like I said, lighting on the wheel. I was actually didn't realize there was RGB there, but yeah, that's kind of most of the RGB that they were talking about. Otherwise though, these buttons are what I really want to try out. I have a computer in front of me right here. Let me just pretend like this is a surface that I, I use like my mouse on. Wow, that's, that's crazy, bro. Uh, the cable's really, the cable's really light though, honestly. Like you can't really tell it's there. Um, as far as like normal use goes. Um, oh yeah, DPI goes very high. <laughs> it goes really high. <laughs> okay, and then it probably goes pretty low. These buttons allow you to change the DPI, which is how fast you move the mouse across the screen. So this one increases it obviously, and then this one decreases it. it it's really good, like there's a lot of options to pick from. Um, if you compare this to something like Logitech, maybe it's not as good, but there's a bunch of options. You can go really high DPI, very low. So I'm sure you can search up the uh, details on the mouse listing, which I'll have linked in the description, by the way, if you guys want to check that out on Instagram. I mean, 
uh, Amazon or Exa's website, I'm sure that'll all be down below for you to click on, right below the like button and below the subscribe button. Bunch of cool buttons, very clicky actually. They're quite nice to press. I don't know how high quality they are, so like how long they'd last. Um, uh, here's another thing actually, when the DPI, when you change it, the mouse wheel will change colors, so that's a cool indicator. So one, two, three, four, five, six, I think six mouse buttons. Uh, don't quote me on that, I might change that in editing. Um, maybe you can't use the DPI buttons for commands, but basically what that means is you can have a bunch of macros on this mouse, at least three, maybe up to six. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, 20 bucks, boy, oh my god, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so it's only $19.99, but if you buy it now on Amazon, it's still gonna be $19.99, but that's the price of it. Um, and for $20, we're just gonna round up, okay, people? Um, that's pretty good, pretty good. But yeah, so $20 for like a decent amount of RGB, if, if you're into that, I personally don't care as much, but like it's, it's pretty smooth. It's got like three to six buttons, like I said, they're all pretty clicky. It's got a nice mouse wheel, change the DPI. It works, it works well. So I think overall, it's a good mouse. It's pretty smooth, I don't, I don't have any like cripes with it or anything I don't really like. Um, but for $20, I'm sure you could just buy a second or third of even of these and you could easily outlast the, the lifetime of a Logitech mouse for $19.99. I think this mouse is worth your time. Um, yeah, I usually say stuff like that, but honestly, now that it's been eight months, I'm, I'm trying to be a lot more honest with whenever I say anything. And honestly, I think this mouse is pretty good for $20. I wasn't expecting that. You saw my genuine reaction. Um, one thing to add is there's no rubber on it, so there's not really a bunch of good grip, but otherwise, for $20, that is a pretty good deal. Uh, there is a button on the bottom. I kind of want to find out what that does. Oh, okay, so you can also turn off the RGB. Oh, you, there's modes. Bro, look at that. So, the, I mean, that one's all right. <laughs> it, like, it like cycles through colors. What does this one do? Okay, it goes the other way, I guess. <laughs> so there's a bunch of RGB modes on this mouse as well. Um, so you can kind of cycle through these RGB modes. Okay, there's like, yeah, there's like six of them, something like that. So you can change some modes using this little button on the bottom. Um, and yeah, otherwise, it's a pretty good mouse for the price. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little review and um, stick out along for uh, future reviews. There's gonna be probably plenty coming out in the future. Um, and yeah, it's good to be back to YouTube. So until the next one though, I will see you guys in the next video after you hit that subscribe button. Peace. Yeah, let's do it anyway.